that brings the second part of Dr. Price's uh, book, which was the uh, British come in, the Americans come in, they start to treat them like they bring in white flour, white sugar, and then all of a sudden this new diet comes up. And what happens is tooth decay, 20% to 100% of the mouth, tuberculosis was the disease, and the immune system disease, that's the immediate problem. Degeneration of the body, he has vivid pictures of this, all because of the change in diet, what he attributed to, it. and it's hard to believe it's not birth, right? It's about birth, labors, when that's where cesarean sections came in, and the surgery, and the long labors, and then we started to have, and it was actually the first uh, cause of suicide in some of these populations because of tooth decay, no dentist pain was so severe, you know, and he couldn't do anything about it. So, and then he basically discovered, this is a, you know, you can't, and none of them were vegetarians, which was kind of interesting, but the one thing that you can't do now, that you did back then, is that he was very clean. The fish was clean, he didn't have the mercury, he didn't have the animals being treated the way they're being treated now, now it's like, there's, you guys want to see a scary documentary. Go on the Google video. I don't know what it's called, but it just shows some of those. Uh, uh, me, me. Me, me. Is that not the 90 minute one? Uh, yeah. This is a 90 minute documentary. And I, after I watched it, I was like, wow, anything. How about me? The way it started off was the Jewish concentration camp for some, something most barbaric treatment of humans to humans, but then they showed these fields of cattle and how their concentration camps are nowhere near. And they, anyway, you see what happens if they have the live webcam and they same thing. But the point of this to bring it to a more positive note is one of the things that they noticed when they prepared pre prepared a man and a woman for for birth, for for uh, even the word for communion or conception, they Six months, this was in the South Africa, they would make sure that they both fed them the highest nutrient food possible. And the only thing, the only milk they allowed the wife and the husband to have was some freshly grown wheatgrass cows. So what I kind of took from that was the, that's what wheatgrass, high mineralized wheatgrass, which I know both down to earth and alive and well. And I'm pretty sure Bonnie gets the two are all coming from So the reason I bring that up is you guys are here, 